Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's build, we'll be bringing back Beyblade to Destiny with a new aspect called Whirlwind Maelstrom. Although it's not coming back in its truest form, the following provides a unique twist towards using tangles in everyday activities and actually benefits greatly when used in weight-based activities, etc. Not only that, but it works a treat when combined with Foe Tracers and Quicksilver's effect of creating tangles on the fly. So if you want to create a near infinite stockpile of them, then this is going to be the best option to achieve this. Funnily enough, this is what today's builds are going to show, so enjoy this one. To start, you're going to want to have Whirling Maelstrom, where destroying a tangle will create a violent mass of strand fibers. Then we have Widow Silk, where you gain an additional grenade charge and grapple hook creates grapple points. As the new aspect works fairly well with any ability that's not in mind, you're going to want to expand on the given idea or make it as much tangles available to access. Foe Tracers will be useful here as it can make strand weapons produce tangles upon kills thanks to the recent update, but we do have other ways to expand on this outside of the use of the exotic. For our fragments, we have Feather Transmutation, while we have Woven Mail, Weapon Finder Blows will create tangles. Feather Warding, where picking up an orb of power, creates Woven Mail. Feather Continuity increases the duration of Suspend, Unravel, and Sever. And Feather Generation, dealing damage generates grenade energy. Out of everything being used, the Feather Transmutation and Warding are the key fragments to have when creating tangles easily. Although the build will rely on Powered Melee, Foe Tracer, and Quick Silver Storm to create tangles fairly easily, the above fragments are handy for when one of the three options do fail. This is particularly important, as Foe Tracer can only work when main strand weapon is netting kills. So if that does fail, we then have our melee available as backup, which then leads into the two fragments as long as we meet their requirements. Although generation and continuity will help via suspend grenades, these by far won't be the huge focus with creating what we need urgently. For the mods and stats section, both discipline and strength will play a part within the build itself, but your melee will be the biggest player around. Your discipline now should be around a tier 7, although this will be pushed to tier 10 once Bond of Focus is active. At tier 10, you will get a 1 minute 16 second cooldown rate, which is good enough for the build, as this will be paired with a generation fragment and shackle grenades. No big mods are really required for the stat, but having the Orbs of Restoration and Distribution mod will help with getting our grenades and our abilities back much faster and easily with what we got. The strength is the same at being at tier 7 and then tier 10 once Front of Vigo is available. This, however, will push our charge melee to a 1 minute 3 seconds cooldown, which is also the same with not needing any extra buffs or mods to further enhance the following. This is more of a backup ability that we will use when both our exotics are out of action, so don't expect this to be using too much, but at the same time, its cooldown is also fairly reasonable without extra mods applied. We do have the hands-on and heavy-handed mods for super ability regeneration, which is also recommended as our super will always be useful here. The next section will be focusing on armor charges and additional mods that are recommended for the build. Charged up will give you a plus one to how many charge stacks you can have. After that, having the strand surge mod for a 7% strand weapon buff and the time dilation mod for a longer armor charge is always recommended and welcoming for the users to attach. Lastly, we do have the Hammer Cypher mod for creating orbs of power via our strand weapons, and Reserves plus Scavenger mods for increasing the payload of our heavy strand weapon. Now lastly, the weapons being used, we have the Quicksilver Storm AR, which would be one of the three ways to create tangles. This is a fantastic weapon with great stats and is flexible in whatever content you have in mind. Ideally, the reason why the weapon is great is because of its alternative mode, which allows us to use its grenade launcher after a number of kills. Great against bigger targets, but its ability to create tangles is where it excels the most at, as these alone can deal a heavy amount of damage if detonated at the right time. It's hard to recommend other strand weapons here, as if you don't use the Foe Tracer, it's a lot harder to create tangles so easily using the Hunters. However, as the build does use Foe Tracers, you do have free reign in terms of picking which strand weapon is best for you. From here, a strand heavy weapon to pick that is very good overall is the Circular Logic. It has a number of great perks for both PvE and PvP, and it also comes with the Nanotech Tracer Rounds, which is an extra damage boost the longer you keep firing in it. 
My version has Envious Assassin and Hatchling, which is all PvE base, and is suitable for boss fights if it comes to it. It's odd to see this ability being placed on the Hunter class as they tend to be more designed for mobility and quick strikes, so the shock of me seeing Whirling Maelstrom being used by Hunters was quite a surprise, as it feels more like it's designed for Warlocks and their summoning abilities. Either way, the ability is quite fantastic with being sentient for a few seconds and also hunting down everything in your path while inflicting moderate damage. You have to focus this build on a specific setup that can easily create tangles as just relying on your abilities alone won't be enough here. Although focusing melee does provide a good way of making tangles once you have weakened enough enemies first, this is why using the Quicksilver Storm secondary form is the best way to achieve this as it is easy to activate does exceptional damage, and also triggers our use of foe tracers that has been recently updated. With his ability, it not only gives you a times 4 surge buff to your weapon, but also an elemental pickup which will be tangled. This in many ways basically means that you can remove the surge mods that you currently have, and then just use this, depending on how often you are able to proc it. So as you can see, we have three ways of creating tangles, melee, primary weapon, and our exotic helm. And this is all that you need to make it work, as you need to make sure you have plenty of options available in case one thing fails. Now, the ability is not OP, nor game changing at best, but it's a great fire and forget ability that you can chuck into a middle group of enemies and just let it do its thing. I can see this being very powerful when using raids for dealing with way based events, or you just need to progress a certain area in GM but can't. Just destroying or throwing a tango in a given area will activate it and it, then it will just do its own thing. Simply, as long as you have the three key things that I mentioned before, you can customize and design your very own Beyblade setup how you like. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content to share then please leave a comment below, but at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub right here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, I hope to see you again soon.